Hey everyone, welcome back to Thymlib tutorial series. In this video, we quickly create a Hello World application. Basically, we use Spring Boot to quickly create Spring MSV web application with Thymlib template engine. Alright, let's get started. We're gonna use Eclipse STS ID to develop our Spring MSV web application with Thymlib. So, in Eclipse ID, go to the file, new, and then choose spring starter project so this is a spring initializer website which is integrated in eclipse sds id to quickly create spring boot projects all right so let's give a name to the project let us say time leap hello world or we can just uh, create a common project like time leap spring boot tutorial something like this and then keep type as a maven and packaging jar java version 8 language java and group id net.java guides and artifact id is going to be our project name and description and then package all right once you are happy with the details click next and here we're going to choose spring boot starter dependencies so we are going to develop spring msu controllers for that we are going to use spring web starter dependency so we use spring web starter dependency to build web applications as well as restful web services okay and spring web starter dependency internal uses spring muc libraries along with that apache tomcat as a default embedded container and we can also use timelip right so let's choose timelip uh, starter dependency so these are the two dependencies are enough to create our simple spring msv web application and hit finish all right so look at here a spring boot project is created all right so open pom.xml file and look at here the two dependencies are added one is spring boot starter timely point another is spring boot starter web dependency okay now let's quickly create a spring mc controller so go to the package here main package right click on package new and then choose class and let's name this class as hello world controller all right and let's make this class as a spring mc controller by annotating at the rate controller annotation and let's quickly create a handler method which will just return a time leap template let's give a method name as hello and this returns a time leap template called hello world okay great and let's annotate this handler method with at the rate get mapping annotation so this will basically handle http get request and let's give a request url as hello now we're gonna return some data to the we write for that we're gonna use a model here and we simply add some data to the model let's use add attribute add attribute method and here just give key as message and value as something like hello world okay so this is our simple uh, method handler okay so it returns the hello world time leap template and this time leap template we're going to create right now so look at here the folder structure here is a resource folder under that static folder and templates folder and whenever spring boot finds time leap starter dependency on a class path then spring boot will automatically configure a view resolver for time leap templates we no need to explicitly add view resolver for time leap okay and inside a static folder we basically create a static resources such as css and js and images so we keep js files css files and images under static folder and inside a templates folder we keep all our time leap templates okay and this is the default structure provided by spring boot 
to process templates and static resources all right let's right click on templates folder new and then choose file that is HTML file and let's call it as hello world.html all right guys so this is our time lib template let's go ahead and let's design it let's replace title with hello world app let's call it as time lib hello world app okay it makes sense so let's let's add time lib hello world app and now we simply print a message that we have added to the model okay we simply print this message in a html page so in order to access this message we're going to use time lip expression okay so let me copy this message key and we're going to use this key in a html page using time lip expression so here i will use h1 tag and inside that th colon text and look at here the syntax let me give some text here time leave space pause and this is the time leap variable expression to access java variables and then plus and here i say app okay so this prints time leap hello world app so message means hello world right so that we have given a value to the message here hello world all right now you can notice here this gives a warning like undefined attribute name so we need to add a time leap uh, link here inside a HTML element so look at here XML NS colon th and then this is the official uh, website of time leap template engine okay so look at here the warning is uh, disappeared okay so this is the basic uh, very simple time leap template uh, we just use a time leap variable expression to access java variable here and this displays basically hello world value that comes from the controller all right let's quickly run spring project and let us see how it works okay great so look at here spring boot project is up and running on default tomcat container running on port 8080 now let's open a browser and let's access uh, hello world uh, template page in a browser just type localhost 8080 slash hello and hit enter so look at here time lip hello world app so hello world is basically a model data that we have printed on a HTML page using time lip expression. All right, guys, this is a very simple hello world time lip application with Spring Boot. Let me summarize what we have learned in this video. So we have created a Spring Boot project, and we have added Spring MUC simple controller, and we have also added a time lip template, and we have used time lip variable expression to access java variable and we display a value to the web page all right it's pretty simple hello world time leap application in next videos we're gonna learn a lot about time leap template engine all right i will see you in the next video